Hey YouTube. So I've published a few videos about uh, using this Bruzilla and one of the things that people have been commenting on is uh, how it's quite difficult to actually raise the malt pipe um, when it's uh, on a high stand like this. So I have invested in a pulley system. Uh, this is a fairly cheap one from Amazon. Uh, as you can see, it goes up to the ceiling there. Hopefully that's good enough. And uh, I've latched it on here. So the, uh, the lock seems to go in quite nicely. I just sort of slid it in. There are some clamps just at either side of it as well to hold it on. And uh, I can uh, obviously pull the liquid up through, uh, through this method here. So what I'll do now is I'll go to a wide angle lens and uh, we'll have a look at it. Um, I've got some sparging water as well, which I'm going to pour over the top because I can't get the height right uh, for this. But hey ho, um, let's, uh, let's have a look to see how much liquid we get out uh, using this method. So hopefully it will be quite a nice uh, slow draw up. Right, so I've had some flickering from the camera, so I've uh, set the uh, shutter speed to uh, 100 frames per second to try and get rid of the camera shutter speed. So let me just start uh, pulling this up. So there's no way to, uh, to lock this one off, so let me just uh, start uh, the pulley process. And as you can see, fairly easy to do. It's slowly coming up now. Liquid is slowly draining out, I think. So I've mashed out this time with uh, Bruzilla. Okay, so I can see that we're pulling over a little bit this way. So because the, the stand can move, let's move it like that. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, I can hear the liquid draining out. Draining out further, let me turn it round. You might be able to just hear the liquid draining. So this is a, an IPA that I've made. Made this many times in the past. It's just using five kg of, uh, of a pale malt. Uh, and then just using a fairly basic yeast as well. So let's just tie this up. I'm just tying this up very, very loosely. There we go, and I'm going to go and put my sparge water. I'm just going to pour this over the top. You can hear it draining out slowly. One of the most exciting videos. So I'll cut now um, and I'll show it to you once I've uh, start raising up the malt pipe a little bit further. Uh, I've also added into this mix not just the pale malts but also uh, some um, just some oats as well um, just to give it a little bit more body and uh, I've not tried that before so that will be an interesting outcome to see how that works with the uh, the beer flavor. So looking at this mechanism, I think I've got this the wrong way around. I think that should be at the top and that one should be at the bottom and that would make life a little bit easier um, when uh, pulling it up. And uh, that's, there you go, just learning as you go along which is always the way with these things. So you can see it's a little bit tricky to, um, uh, to actually pull the trolley mecha, the, the, the trolley, because it really wants to go like that. But fortunately, due to my height, I have that ability to do exactly that. So I'm now just at the right height and I can turn it round and I can lower it down onto its little feet. Oh. Didn't quite catch its feet properly. 
Watch his feet there. There we go, it's called its feet. And you can see when I detach it, I just slide it out. So that was the, uh, the way around. So I can turn it the other way around so it looks a little bit more effective. I know we'll do that in a second. It's not gonna make any difference to the setup because I've done the, uh, the sparging now in effect. So now I've adjusted the other way around and you can see that this is a lot easier by pulling the pulley mechanism that way. Uh, see I'm slightly out of kilter, but you can see now how easy it is to pull up the grain bed. You can see the water still coming out and I need to get to 25 on that one. So I need to add a, a couple of more liters of water into uh, the mash, into this malt uh, pipe, which I'll do now. And uh, we'll top up the, uh, nope, probably pouring it in a little too fast. Not the best way of doing this possibly, but it's a way of doing this. So I've just uh, adding another 10 liters of water into uh, the sparge, a uh, sparge water. Don't think I need to use all of it, but uh, at least this way I can actually look at, see how much I've actually got inside the malt pipe. Probably moved it again, so let's just make sure that... Yeah, that's so much easier. So we're getting there. We'll just leave this to drain out. Said I mashed out this time round, which I've not done before. Uh, we're at uh, 69 degrees, so I'm probably just going to um, whack the temperature up. So we start getting ourselves to the boil. And see how we're doing now. It's about 23 at the moment, oh, 24 at the moment. Um, we've still got some more sparging water we can put in. I can hear the, uh, the heating element starting to heat up now. Oh, we've got a fair amount of water still inside here, so I guess that's just got to take time just to drain through. Maybe I don't need any more. I can see that uh, we've still got liquid up to this level, so it's just slowly filtering through the grain bed. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Take care, YouTube. Bye for now.